All right, so I'm gonna be real with y'all. I originally started this whole intro bare face, and the big thing that I was gonna focus in on was the Wonder Beauty blushers, the Wonder Beauty concealer, and maybe the foundation. It literally, literally turned into darn near a full face of Wonder Beauty products. So the, there's like maybe three items on my face that is not, okay, four, because my eyebrows. <laughs> Wonder Beauty. So there's a lot going on over here. So this is a full face of Wonder Beauty products. We are testing out the new double date blusher colors. And we are also testing out the, they did come out with new shades of their concealer. So this is just a bunch of Wonder Beauty from the blushers to the bronzers to the little liners. I almost said lip liner. It's not a lip liner. Y'all, this is the first video I filmed in a bit. So it's always weird the first time. So if you are new here, hello and welcome to the Hot Mess Express. Where over here, we just embrace it. It is what it is. Uh, it's a judgment-free, drama-free, stress-free zone where we sit back, relax, play, talk, do the things with makeup. And more or less, it's just, I don't try and be a professional over here. Like, I want y'all to come to my channel and feel like you are chit-chatting with a friend. We're having coffee, we're talking about our makeup, and and nothing here is to be serious. So don't come into the comment section griping that I ramble. Sweetie, I'm a Gemini with ADHD. That that is that is what I do. Okay? So we're just here to have fun. Keeping it cute or putting it on mute. my skin I did go ahead and use my elf acne fighting putty primer it's the one that has acylic acid in here what I do use I kind of like chucked my stuff all over the place here it is I use the elf putty primer the duo little brush that it comes with and well it doesn't come with it you have to buy it separately but and then I just pounce it right into my T-zone like so. And I did also apply my Too Faced Hangover Good To Go Moisturizer. Uh, this does have F SPF 25. Let's go ahead and start off. I think my sunless tan is kind of wearing off. So I may have to still mix a little bit of my tan in here with my medium. Just for reference, my skin is normal to dry. Right now in the summertime, it has kind of balanced itself back out even though I still use anti-aging products such as I call it retinol but I think it's called tritinoid or something like that you get it from your doctor uh, I use that I use sicilic acid lactic acid glycolic acid I, all the things for anti-aging that is what your girl uses so right now my skin is more normal kind of more just so dry in the winter time so a little information I'm just gonna pull this straight from Wonder Beauty's website y'all I've talked about this foundation I would say probably for close to two years now maybe. I absolutely love it. I mean, I obviously am 43 years old, so I have mature skin. And the one magical thing about this foundation, I feel like, is it not only hydrates, and but it plumps my skin as well as it doesn't sink into smile lines or the little, like, creases and wrinkles and crinkles, my crow's feet, it doesn't sink into all of that. It just makes your skin look absolutely flawless. It does have a retail value of $40 and it says it's a weightless liquid foundation. It delivers undetectable finish that makes blemishes, redness, and discoloration disappear. With buildable coverage, this foundation delivers a natural radiant skin-like finish designed in a travel-friendly tube with a dope wood applicator to deliver multitasking coverage wherever you wonder. Cute, huh? I like how they kind of put that in there. So I, I have to agree with that. Definitely buildable. So I am going to add a little bit of tan, and this is what the applicator looks like. It is nice because when you do pull it out, it does take a lot of the excess off. Now, some people do get a little hot and bothered by the fact that, you know, I'm about to rub this all over my face and then dip it right back in. I know, I know. Um, but good news, I'm, I'm not a makeup artist and I don't share my products and judgment free zone. Okay, so you know what? I'm not gonna add any medium. I'm just gonna stick with tan. So yeah, I think tan is still gonna work pretty well. Um, I just washed my BK Beauty foundation brush. So I am going to, I've got this Morphe one. I don't even think they make this one anymore. Uh, this is the Y6 brush. 
I know a lot of y'all have been asking me about the e.l.f. putty acne fighting primer. I love it. I haven't had any issues with any breakouts or anything, which was kind of one of my concerns with the other poreless putty primer, the original. One thing I noticed after using it for a couple weeks is I did start to break out. So the salicylic acid in here has definitely been helping. This is pretty much a primer that I've been using in my T-zone every time that I apply makeup. And I have not, like I said, had any issues whatsoever, which is really nice because your girl still suffers with adult acne. Do you see this like beautiful, like radiant, hydrated glow to my skin? It is just, it's so nice. I love it. I do want to mention on my lips, I do have the Wonder Beauty Lip Retreat Oil. I absolutely love this stuff and you can tell I do have some redness on my cheeks and this does cover it well and if I needed to add more I could no problem like it builds up very nicely okay so next we're gonna go into the Wonder Beauty concealer now this is new to me I've never tried their concealer before it's called the Duelist matte and illuminating concealer when I hear matte, it does kind of scare me a little bit, I'll be honest with y'all, but uh, the nice beautiful thing about Wonder Beauty is I feel like nothing about their makeup is drying or anything. So we'll, we'll see, we'll see. Let's see what it says about this concealer. Okay, so they did actually come out with some new shades and expanded on their shade range. They do have a nice little option where it says find my shade on their website if you are curious about this. It, it does say 2017 O, oh, the Oprah Magazine Fall Beauty O oh Awards winner was this concealer. Uh, the 2017 Star Beauty Award winner, and it's now available in 18 shades. It says, get ready in minutes with our double-sided concealer equipped with a tug-free full coverage matte stick on one end and a lightweight illuminating liquid on the other. Crease proof formula provides long lasting coverage that blends seamlessly without feeling heavy or cakey. Covers discoloration, blemishes, dark circles, age spots, redness, illuminates and brightens the under eyes. So how, let's see here, how to use. Apply the matte stick over the imperfections, redness, or discoloration. Blend with fingers as needed. And then the illuminating liquid. Swipe under eyes in a triangle shape to brighten and diffuse fine lines. Okay, so I'm pretty curious about this. They sent over two shades. They sent over light and light medium. I'm going to go with the light medium. So I'm pretty curious about this because when I've used some like similar types of things in the past, it really accentuated my under eye uh, wrinkles and crinkles. So this is what it looks like. Uh, I don't know. Sometimes I like a little bit brighter. So let me see. Let me let me try the light shade. I'm gonna do the light and see what happens. So I'm gonna just go ahead. Really easy. What it says, tug proof. Definitely tug proof. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it. Kinda, I guess, similar to how I would. I am gonna add just a little bit of the darker shade right, right in there. I am gonna just blend it out with my finger. Blends out very easily. That was much better. I had like old school thoughts in my head. Like, am I really gonna like this? I'm gonna add a little bit more of my red areas through here. But you know, like you remember back in the 90s when they had like a stick concealer and it will, it definitely tugged and it looked so drying underneath the eyes i mean honestly i wouldn't necessarily say this is very mat mattifying so i do like that about it that was another concern i had when i said that's the thing i feel like the word matte really just gets a bad rap at this point because all i think about is 2017 um kylie lip kits <laughs> <laughs> they've just like really dried everything out so as far as this goes i think it looks really pretty i am going to go in with the light medium highlight and add a little bit and see what happens okay i like this this is not at all like i thought it was going to be so if you have a little PTSD from the the Tarte ones that we had gotten in our boxy charm, it was a boxy, it was in a base box, I do believe. You got to pick your shade and everything. 
um, and a lot of people like it wasn't it's not a concealer it was literally like an under eye brightener type of dealio highlighter what have you and so when you would put it underneath your eye it would literally accentuate at least for me it accentuated like my large pores and everything like it, it just it wasn't really it was pretty but it just wasn't my jam so as far as this goes this is not doing that and I am very happy with that like everything looks like nice healthy glowing skin it paired very nicely with my L primer no issues whatsoever there so I like that let's go ahead and move over to the blushers you oh. Oh, when it comes to their blushers, uh, I've talked a lot about this one and this one a lot. Again, for Sephora recommendations. So today I will use the Wonder Beauty On The Glow. This is the Illuminator. So I'll use this as my cream highlight. Um, I do want to go ahead first and I am going to put some of my e.l.f. Putty bronzer on so let me bronze up right quick and then we'll move over to the blusher So I did go ahead and set this under eye with my Pat McGrath under eye powder and you can see don't be don't be afraid of this concealer whatsoever There's no mattifying mattifying like properties. It's not like sucking any type of moisture out from underneath my eyes this is this is wonderful okay so moving over to their blushers now they already had the double date in the shade rendezvous now nice thing about these these are perfect for your cheeks and your lips or they also have this shade down here which I've also put on my lips just as like a nice hydrating balm if you want you could like get that glossy like glazed look and dab a little bit as as a highlighter if you choose to so and it's nice because it does have a nice little mirror in here now the new shades they are I checked their site they are now available this one is in the shade be mine is that not beautiful I'll swatch them all for you as well this one is the rendezvous so let me go ahead and watch that for y'all Ooh, look at that I love it it is so pretty and they're not like uber sticky or anything like that they're just absolutely beautiful now this shade is be mine oh, it's, not, it's like that sun kissed gorgeousness and then the last shade is in honeymoon isn't that pretty So those are your shades and today I'm going to go in with Be Mine. It is just, to me, it's just absolutely gorgeous. So to apply my cream blushers, you can do it however you're most comfortable. If you want to use your finger, you definitely can. Uh, for me, when it comes to my cream products, I really like to use my Luxie 504 angled brush. It's just my favorite. So I'm going to go in with the shade Be Mine. I mean, it just looks like this really pretty like sunburnt color. And I'm just going to, you, you can see, she pigmented. And apply them up through here. And I just like to kind of go in a stippling padding motion. I'm going to hit my nose a little too because who doesn't like to get sun there? It's funny, here I am covering my redness and then I'm going back in and adding a bunch of redness. Now I can tell you all, this, these work really well over powder as well. I just, here's what I like to do. I like to go in, apply my cream products, then I will go ahead and powder my face and then I'll go back in and add a little bit more blush if necessary. So we looking nice and rosy. I am going to go ahead and powder my face. To do so, I am actually just going to take my Pat McGrath in the shade medium. This is for your under eyes, but for me, it's not enough like brightness. So I've just been multitasking it and putting it all over my face. So. Now I do want to go ahead and go in now on top of it with the Honeymoon shade. So I'm going to just dab a little bit of the Honeymoon and then pat it right back through here and up. It's so pretty. And then I do like, love, love, love these two highlighters. So this one is in the shade Nude Glow. What I do is I just stick with this little brush and then 
pat it right up through here and then what i like to do is go over it now this is again from an ipsy i believe and this is the after hours so i just go in with my highlighter brush so i like to go in with my bk beauty 108 brush and then just go right on top like so mm, i know it's just so pretty you can, how can you not isn't that just such a nice, pretty, healthy sheen to the skin? All right, I'm going to hop off and add my eye makeup and my brows, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I am back. I have my brows on, and I did add a little bit of bronzer. And this is the Trip for Two from Wonder Beauty. It is available on their site still. It is $36. And you know what I realized? I have the Wonder Beauty Getaway Palette. This was in a boxy charm, and it is available on their website for $36. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyes with this palette. I did dab just a smidgen of this blush on my cheeks as well. It's like a whole trust the process type of deal. So I did go ahead and prime my lids with my Jarred Cosmetics Clean Canvas Eye Base. Hopefully y'all were able to get your hands on it during this sale. Um, so this is what the inside of of the getaway palette looks like you have a blush or a highlight and then you have six different eyeshadows in here it does look like you do have two mattes in here and the rest are like these really beautiful shimmer shades so it definitely keeps like a really natural pretty look okay so to set my lids i am going to use my c color cosmetics this is a soft natural palette i am going to go in with this bone shade that is darn near almost gone um these palettes are like six eight bucks over on c color cosmetics website if you use code hotmas 10 it'll save you 10 percent off everything you can use that coupon code over and over it is an affiliate code just letting you all know so if you do use it thank you all very very much i greatly appreciate it okay so i am going to jump over to my sonia g blender pro blush and i am going to go into the lighter of two mattes in here and just put that in my transition now their eyeshadow formula correct me if i'm wrong i think it has hyaluronic acid in there so it like just glides yeah it's enriched with hydrating blend of hyaluronic acid and mango seed butter i love their eyeshadow formula like this is so easy to use blends out beautifully and i swear it's it's not like it plumps the lids but it just is so smoothing on the lids i am going to go into this shade what you'll find with this palette is you don't really get much dimension it's more of like a natural very natural looking eye so that's why i do want to jump in to my trip for two palette and use the bronzer in here just to kind of give it a little bit of depth right in the outer v i don't think it's going to give too much but it's going to give just a little bit okay and then on my lids i love 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 to go in with the shade yacht right here in the center and just apply it right into the center in the inner corner of my lid like so and then a little bit of the shade cabana in the inner i am going to be a little extra and go in to the after hour shade which of course is what is highlighted on my skin and I'm gonna just pop a little bit right in the inner corner and then I am gonna go ahead and apply some of my Wonder Beauty Skyliner it's in black what I like to do with this is just apply it to my tight line I do have lash extensions on and I'm not gonna put any mascara on them but on my lower lashes I am going to use my Wonder Beauty Mile High Club so we're using a lot more Wonder Beauty in this video than than I originally thought I, I was gonna just focus in on like concealer and foundation so i'm gonna go ahead apply that and then i am gonna go ahead and put my lips on and line my lips with let's see here my gerard cosmetics i don't feel like sharpening that so we're gonna go in with the nude shade and then i have fallen in love with shantakai this is their lip balm it was in a glossy box i believe and it's in the shade beach rose it is beautiful 
so that is what it's going to be on my lips okay friends so I am back with the finished look nice beachy natural everyday type of look and pretty much using nothing but wonder beauty products so I have to say I feel like wonder beauty is one of those brands in my opinion that is very underrated i mean i don't hear anybody talk about how amazing the nude illusion foundation is and this is one of my go-to highly recommended foundations i do think if you do have oily skin i don't know how this is going to work for you but if you do have oily skin and you do use this foundation can you please let us know in the comment section down below i would greatly appreciate it again on my lips i have the Chantecaille uh lip tint and beach rose i love this paired with my dried cosmetics this is in the shade nude lip liner pretty much everything else other than my elf putty <laughs> and the primer that that was all wonder beauty so pretty much a full face of wonder beauty products gonna have to refill my intro because i was um barefaced and only talking about like three wonder beauty products and then the more i played in my collection the more i'm like oh i have this and i have that and and here we are anyways friends i will have everything linked and listed down below if you are interested in picking up any of the wonder beauty products again if you do go to their website i think it was like a 15 percent off coupon code and i do believe rakuten will save you money back let me double check before i tell you all that let me let me double check real quick yes six percent cash back at least the day i'm filming it if you do use your rakuten to shop the wonder beauty and of course you can stack with Rakuten when you check out so whatever coupon codes you have you can use that at checkout so anyways why not make that money I will have a Rakuten link to sign up down below it is a referral link that you will receive as well make sure to share that referral link right now the day I'm filming this it is a $30 sign up bonus so if you do sign up using my referral link you get 30 bucks I get 30 bucks when you make a qualified purchase share your referral link because then you'll get 30 bucks your friend will get 30 bucks once they make a qualifying purchase it's endless it's a great way to make a little extra money every so often so anyways friends that is all for today's video i hope you all enjoyed it it was it, it was kind of like an impromptu it was just going to do a concealer and brush, blush review and it turned into a full face of wonder beauty so fun good yay okay don't forget to check me out over on my second channel hot miss mama vlogs for some plus size curvy girl fashion hauls if you are curious about my purple hair it is just the moroccan oil color depositing conditioner in the shade lilac i will have it linked down below i do pick it up at sephora until next time friends don't forget i am on instagram and tiktok at hot miss mama of four and until next time as always i hope you have a wonderful beautiful and blessed day now to refilm the intro <laughs> kisses from kentucky Mwah. bye